Good, good morning. morning. It's good to be with you again today. Once again, want to thank you guys for tuning in and just blessing us as we move forward today. Amen. Amen. We've been talking about facing your valleys with confidence. Amen. And, um, you know, all of us go through valleys, right? But when we have, when we can face them with confidence, then Romans 8, 28 kicks in, you know, right. it, 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 it's there all the time, but we can, we can look at it through the lens of Romans 8, 28, Amen. which is all things work together for good, good. to on. those that love the Lord and to those that are called according to his purpose. Why don't you pray for us? Amen. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just give you honor, glory, and praise. Lord, we thank you for yet another day. We ask that you would bless, Lord Jesus, all that takes place. We thank you that you open the hearts and the minds of your people to receive your word. And Lord, that you would just be glorified in all things. We give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. So, you know, God has been so good to us. Yes, he You has. know what I mean? And, 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 and when we can begin to really say that and mean it, you know, it's because we've developed that confidence in the Lord. Yes. Yes. Uh, 1 John 5, 14 and 15 says, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, Come he on. heareth us. And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desire of him. Amen. You know, the the the... the you know that that's 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 the confidence of God. Come on. You know, and 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 when we look at, if you will, even just that last verse in the twenty third Psalm, because we've made the Lord our shepherd, shepherd. we've yielded ourselves, if you will. It says, surely goodness and mercy, goodness, grace, favor, mercy, goodness and mercy shall follow, follow me. me all the days of my life and I will do well in the house of the Lord Amen. forever. My mind is made up. I'm not going to be wishy-washy. I'm not going to be here one minute and out the next minute, but I'm going to not walk in the flesh one minute and walk in the spirit, but I, my mind is made up. I am going with Jesus all the way. I don't care who it connects me with or who it separates me from. But I'm going with Jesus all the way. Amen. When you come to that place, goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life because you've made the Lord our shepherd. Amen. You know, it says goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our life. But, you know, you have to be in tune with Jesus enough to know that goodness and mercy are following you. You know, sometimes we just think, oh, it's just life. It's just things will just work out automatically. That's just the way it is. No. We need to understand that it is the hand of God and that is the favor of God on our life and that goodness and mercy follow us, you know, because we have made up our mind and decided to follow Christ. Amen. We've decided to live our lives the right way. We've decided to to make some boundaries and some petitions and and different things before the Lord. And we just choose to make him our shepherd. We allow him to be Lord of our life. Amen. And that's what it takes. When we've allowed the Lord to become Lord of our lives, we, you know, as it says in, in uh, that first John scripture, you know, that we have this confidence. That means that, that the Lord could tell us something, the Lord can instruct <laughs> us to do something, amen. amen, and that we will move out. At, at his word, we will move out. We will Come start on. moving and making preparation and doing whatever it takes to move into whatever God has said. And that's the uniqueness, you know, and which means you've got to take time to have heard from God. And once you've heard from God, you're going to move out yes. with confidence to Amen. fulfill what God is saying. Amen. See, the truth is, is that we have to have have faith in God. Amen. Right. He's got to be the object of our faith. Yes. And when we have faith in God, because many people have faith in, in faith. the world. Yes. They have all the faith in the world, but don't have faith in God. Amen. They get wishy-washy when it comes down to trusting and believing that God is going to do what he said he was Amen. going to do, right? But when we have faith in God, when we've learned more about God, we have more faith, yes. and our faith grows into confidence. When we've ex walked with God for a while and had greater experiences, we have this confidence that I will not be turned around. I That's will right. not be denied. I'm going to just continue to move forward Amen. in the Lord. 
that, you know, you won't allow life or people to pull you from what you believe and what you're hanging on to. We have to trust God at all costs, no matter what, you know, and even in the situation that we are in in this world. You know, it doesn't matter who's in the White House as long as you know that God uh, is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That's that's the only that's the only thing that matters, and that's where you have to put your trust and your focus. And if you don't understand the things of God, you know, like in in First John five, it says, "We just ask for wisdom." Amen. God will show you what you need. He'll give you the right understanding of His Word. If you don't understand, ask. It says, "If any man, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God. They give it to all men liberally." And, up, and abraded not, and it shall be given to him. God said, all you got to do is ask. Some of us are so afraid to ask a question. Just ask the question. Ask God, and he will give you what you need. Amen? He will give you the, the tools, and he'll put the desire in your heart, you know, that you need. Ask God for wisdom so that we can make right decisions and, and have the right understanding of his word and what needs to be going on and what needs to be happening in our lives. See, we have to get to that place that we cast not away, if you will, um, our faith. That we cast not away, if you will, what God has put before us. Cast not, cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of reward, Amen. right? So we don't want to throw away our confidence, right? Because sometimes people get battered and beat up. Yes, but let is. me tell you something. you got to have confidence. That if you get knocked down, get up again. That's if, right. if, if you've heard a word from the Lord, despite what you see, keep getting up. Keep coming. Keep, Come on. Don't, don't, don't turn around, if you will. Um, God, God's faithful. He sees what you don't see. But we must yield ourselves to be committed to him. Amen. So don't allow this world or don't allow things to keep you from doing what God has called you to do. Because you know what? God is still on the throne. His word is forever settled in the heavens. And we have to follow his word. Amen. God has given, is our shepherd. And his word will lead God and direct us into all truths. He's given us the Holy Spirit, Lord, to even keep us on track. So God knows what we need. The, the key is sometimes we just need to have the wisdom or the knowledge enough to ask God for what we need. Because he knows better than we do what we need in this life. Amen. And so you guys have a blessed day, and we will see you tomorrow at, at 7 or 7. seven.